job interview, you've got an hour to do something. Twelve individuals took a poverty challenge in Kenora, including me. The goal was to live off of $35 for five days. In the second part of this series on poverty in our communities, we take a look at what is available to help people in tight situations. Simply being resourceful and creative can make a difference with budget constraints. What are you doing? For Rachel Danielson, taking advantage of free or low-cost community services helps stretch her low-income dollars a lot further. Here at the Minto Child and Family Resources Center, she can eat a hot, healthy lunch, her six-month-old daughter Courtney gets something tasty, and she can socialize with other parents in the same boat. So on, on Thursdays have parent groups, so they have various resources come in and I find that very helpful. Karen Campbell runs the Minto Center to ensure these parents have what they need and on a tight budget constraint herself. Located in a low-income housing unit, the center is easily accessible for many families. We have some people that come regularly, like just about every day for lunch. Um, they, we have other people that just come once in a while. Yesterday we must have had about 20 people here for lunch. It was like very busy. Lauren Mandeman, one of the poverty challengers, used this service to take advantage of low-cost grocery essentials like sugar and coffee. And it did help a lot with this challenge, because if I would have bought all the stuff from the store, I wouldn't have made the challenge at all. For this, Campbell runs a small supply store upstairs at the centre where these items can be bought for little money to help tie over paydays. With having the two um, lunch programs, or the divided lunch at school, um, I, we find people use a lot of the lunch snacks because it's, um, they don't have to go out and buy a big amount of it they can come and oh I just need snacks for a couple of days. Oh, yeah. That's a winner. Big mama's house. Oh, yeah. And I took to the library for some entertainment. Okay so I'm here at the Kenora Public Library and checking out the free movies that you can rent. It used to be about ten dollars a year I think so now it's free so that's a great option um, and I thought I might want to watch a movie it's Saturday night so why not. Whether resources come from legal aid, Ontario Works, the Detox Centre for Addictions Counselling, free movie rentals and internet at the library, not to mention books, food banks, shelters and more, there are places to make it a little easier on a very tight budget. Danielson is grateful for these services and the help it provides her family. Well, I'm on a low income budget, so it's hard all the time, you know, to have healthy, nutritious meals when you're on a low income. So it's nice to come here because you know that there's always going to be food that's healthy and nutritious and variety. Taking a walk in others' shoes and being a part of the Poverty Challenge has opened my eyes. Um, you're supposed to live without the things that aren't necessary. One thing I reconnected with is that money isn't everything. Food, laughter and a few good people around you sure make up for a lot of the extras we take for granted. In Kenora, I'm Shelley Bujols. <laughs>